Republic Act No. 11235. Familiar ba kayo? Palitan natin. Doble plaka law. Ayan, malinaw na, di ba? Ah, hindi pa rin. Okay, I went to LTO's website para intindihin kung ano ang sinasaad ng batas na to. This is not a rant post, but this also doesn't mean that I totally agree with it. This is just for me and for other riders na rin to be informed of what this law actually states. Para pag sinabihan tayo na magbasa ka muna bago ka magreklamo, then we can say that we did our homework. Isang tabi muna natin ang lahat ng ating galer, frustration, and itry natin himayin. 13 pages lang naman ang implementing rules and regulations, so sandali lang ito. I will skip some of the parts and just tackle the more important bits. To read the full IRR, just visit www.lto.gov.ph. RA11235 is not just about the size of the new plate or the decal in front of your motorcycles. There are more pressing issues like registration rules which I think will be implemented earlier than the double black aspect of it. Violating the RA11235 can fine you for up to 100,000 pesos. Aba, mas mahal pa sa scooter ko. Or worse, pwede pa kayong makulong. So let's go straight at it. Pero isa munang malalim na buntong hininga. Let's go. Ayon sa latest issuance ng LTO last May 21, 2020, IRR or Implementing Rules and Regulations Republic Act No. 11235 is an act preventing and penalizing the use of motorcycles in the commission of crimes by requiring bigger, readable, and color-coded number plates and identification marks and for other purposes. Haba. A debatable topic. So skip mo natin yan for now. Let's move on. The first part of the rules is just defining the terms used such as back rider, driver, motorcycle, etc. Na alam ko namang alam nila. So let's proceed to rule number two: motorcycle registration, number plates, and registry. Section four: registration by the owner. It states that all brand new locally purchased motorcycles should be registered with the LTO by the owner or the dealer within five days from date of sales invoice. For new or used imported motorcycles, within five days from the certificate of stock reported or CSR report date. For used locally purchased motorcycles, the owner should report to LTO within three days upon sale by providing them with the original copy and a photocopy of the notarized deed of sale or any similar document as proof of the sale to the LTO office where the latest certificate of registration was issued. But the main info is found in section five bigger, readable, and color-coded number plates. For the back metal plate, LTO shall issue a bigger, readable, and color-coded number plate. The whole aluminum plate will measure 235 mm in width and 135 mm in height and will have a reflectorized background and security features. Font size must be 60 mm in height. Now let's talk about the decal plate which should be placed in front of your motorcycles. The decal plate measures 135 mm in width and 85 mm in height. It should be made of suitable and durable sticker material with reflectorized alphanumeric characters and security features. The font size for all alphanumeric characters is 40 mm tall. And we have the disclaimer, specifications may subject to change. To get the equivalent size in inches, just divide millimeter by 25.4. So let's try to recreate the new plate based on the size specifications by LTO. And we will print them in actual size. and compare them with the old plate measurements. So this is how it will look like in its actual measurements. The contents of the number plate shall be readable from the front and back of the motorcycle from a distance of at least 15 meters from the motorcycle. For this purpose, all motorcycles shall have a rear plate light. 
So guys, make sure that your rear plate light is in working condition. The plate will also bear a color code bar reflecting the assigned colors of the region where it is registered. Rule 3. Prohibited Acts and Penalties Section 7. Failure to Register or to Report Sale or Disposition Failure to register or report your transfer of ownership within a given time will result in imprisonment of arresto mayor which means from 1 to 6 months to prisión correccional, minimum 6 months to a maximum of 6 years imprisonment or a fine between 20,000 but not more than 50,000 or both. Section 8. Driving without a number plate or readable number plate. It is also punishable by prisión correccional, minimum of 6 months to a maximum of 6 years imprisonment, or a fine between 50,000 but not more than 100,000, or both. You can just read up on the other details on apprehension, impounding, and recovery through LTO's website. Let's proceed to Section 12, Loss of Number Plate. If it's lost, damaged, or stolen, the owner shall report it within 24 hours to the Joint LTO and PNP Operations and Control Center and submit a duly notarized affidavit to the nearest LTO office. LTO will then issue a certification for replacement plate and an authority to use improvised plates which shall be valid until the replacement plates take place. Failure to report is punishable by a fine of not less than 20,000 but not more than 50,000. Section 13. Erasing, tampering, forging, imitating, covering a number plate is punishable by prisión mayor. Minimum of 6 years to a maximum of 12 years imprisonment or a fine between 50,000 but not more than 100,000 or both. Section 14. Use of a stolen number plate or readable number plate. This is punishable by prisión mayor. Minimum of 6 years to a maximum of 12 years imprisonment or a fine between 50,000 but not more than 100,000, or both. Section 15. Prohibition on sale and importation of non-compliant motorcycles. No one is allowed to sell motorcycles if the units don't have the capability to bear and showcase a readable number plate. So if the motorcycles don't have any space to carry the decal plate in front, you won't be allowed to sell them. For existing motorcycle units, the owners are required to provide a bracket or any provisions where the plate can be installed. Rule 4. Funding, Monitoring, and Oversight Section 16. Joint LTO and PNP Operations and Control Center A joint LTO and PNP Operations and Control Center under the supervision of the DICT shall be established to facilitate the implementation of this IRR. It shall be equipped with the latest available technology and adequate computers and software which shall be operational and accessible real-time, 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, to immediately address any emergency or inquiry. The LTO and PNP Highway Patrol Group, or HPG, shall establish a hotline to specifically address concerns related to crimes or offenses committed through the use of motorcycles. Rule 5, Transitory and Final Provisions Section 19, Transitory Provision all motorcycles shall bear the bigger, readable, and color-coded number plates in conformity with the provisions of RA 11235. Letter A states that the renewal registration of motorcycles already registered prior to the effectivity of this IRR shall carry with it the application for such number plates. Item B. Registration of motorcycles which have already been renewed for the current year in accordance with the designated schedule of LTO until the effectivity of this IRR shall be deemed to have applied for issuance of number plates in conformity with RA 11235. For this purpose, the following scheme shall be applied. For motorcycles registered prior to the effectivity of this IRR, a. Without issued number plate in conformity with RA 11235, the number plate color shall be based on the region of the new registration unit 
for the motorcycles initially registered and the same shall be issued at the regional office concerned. Now with number plate issued prior to RA 11235, the number plate color shall be based on the owner's present or current residential address and shall be issued to the regional office concerned. Number two, unregistered motorcycles upon the effectivity of this IRR or new registration. The number plate color shall be based on the region of the district office for the motorcycles to be registered and shall be released at the regional office concerned during the initial phase. Section 22. Effectivity. This implementing rules and regulations shall take effect upon its publication in the official gazette or in a newspaper of general circulation and upon registration with the Office of the National Administrative Register at the University of the Philippines Law Center, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Signed on May 11, 2020 by Edgar C. Galvante, Assistant Secretary, Land Transportation Office. Submitted and received on May 19, 2020 by UP Law Center, Office of the National Administrative Register, Administrative Rules and Regulations. After seeing this IRR, I come across an interview of LTO Executive Director Romeo Vera Cruz by Randy Kaluwag of ManilaStandard.net. Posted May 26, 2020 at 11 p.m., which states that the doble placa law is deferred for now. This is due to lack of number plates. Blank plates have already arrived, but their supplier will only be able to supply the printed plates around 1.7 million by July 2020. Executive Director Cruz said, Hindi pa po natin ito may implement dahil hindi pa po available ang mga plaka. He also added that no rider will be apprehended for now because of the lack of a two-plate policy. He also said that only the registration aspect of the law will be immediately implemented by the LPO. So first things first, better prepare all the documents needed and register your motorcycles or else pay the fees. So ngayon medyo alam na natin ang rules and regulations regarding RA 11.235, buntong hiningal din. So let me know what you guys think by shouting your comments below.